Zeus is the supreme god of Greek mythology. On his throne on Mount Olympus, he reigns over the universe. He is the son of the titans Cronus and Rhea. His father was the god who reigned before the birth of Zeus. A prophecy foresaw that one of the sons of Cronus would be more powerful than the father and dethrone him. To avoid this fate, Cronus devoured his children after birth, but Zeus managed to escape. His mother deceived Cronus and caused the titan to swallow a stone instead of the baby. Zeus was secretly raised and breastfed by Amalthea. As an adult, he challenged his father and freed his brothers, who were imprisoned in Cronus's stomach. A great war between gods and titans broke out, in a conflict that became known as Titanomachy. After the victory over the titans, Zeus shared power with his brothers. Poseidon reigned over the seas, Hades ruled the underworld, and Zeus commanded the heavens and the earth. But before consolidating his power, he faced and defeated the giants in the Gigantomachy. Zeus also had a final challenge, to face the powerful monster Typhon. He was defeated in their first fight, but avenging himself, he managed to defeat and imprison Typhon on Mount Etna. As lord of the universe, Zeus worked to establish order and justice in the world. He was associated with the duty of hospitality. The good hosts left Zeus very pleased and could be favored by him. But those who disrespected that duty could be seriously punished by Zeus. The god had several powers, among them the ability to control the rains and storms. Using his lightning and thunder, he showcased his power. Zeus was also able to decide the course of a battle. Whoever was favored by the god was certainly victorious. Therefore, he is often represented with Nike, the goddess of victory, in his hand. The sovereign of the universe was married to the goddess Hera. With the queen, he had important children like Hephaestus, the god of forges, and Mars, the god of war. But Zeus had many other loves besides Hera. He fell in love with other several goddesses, nymphs, and beautiful mortals. He had a vast and glorious offspring. With the goddess Leto, he had the Olympic gods Apollo and Artemis. With the mortal Semele, he had Dionysius, god of wine and ecstasy. Zeus was also the father of famous demigods such as Hercules and Perseus. But among all her children, Athena, the goddess of wisdom, who was born out of Zeus's head, was his favorite. His wife was deeply jealous, and to escape her vigilance, Zeus took several different forms. He became a bull to get involved with beautiful Europe, a swan to seduce Leda, and a cuckoo to conquer Hera. Once, the gods of Olympus revolted against Zeus and imprisoned him. But, with the help of Briareus, the giant Hecaton Ceres, he managed to escape and put an end to the rebellion. Zeus was venerated throughout the Greek world. One of the temples built in his honor was in Olympia. Inside, there was an enormous statue of the god, sculpted by Phidias, the most renowned sculptor of ancient Greece. His work became one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Olympic Games in the city of Olympia were a great celebration in honor of Zeus. In the arts, the god is represented as a mature, strong, and majestic man, with a crown of oak leaves and accompanied by an eagle, the animal associated with the god. In Rome, the god became known as Jupiter. He was also venerated. His main temple was on Capitoline Hill. The most powerful of the Olympic gods was worshipped throughout Europe due to the achievements of the Roman legions. The conquered peoples sometimes assimilated the worship of God in syncretism with the native deities. The cult of the Olympic gods may have gone into decline, but the various myths of Zeus continue to marvel people of all ages.